Um, yeah, thank you again for uh, being here today to uh, help us share this message. You know, one of our most critical roles among many in this school system is that of a bus driver. And first, let me start with gratitude by expressing my thanks to our bus drivers who show up every single day and give us their very best. You know, the shortage of bus drivers is not only a challenge for parents and families, uh, but for our drivers and our school staff who also have families and lives uh, as well. And we appreciate their commitment to transporting our students to and from school safely and efficiently. Now, while we know that there is a nationwide driver shortage, and that is no excuse, please know that we are working diligent, diligently with, um, within our parameters to uh, ensure that we are addressing this issue head on. Uh, we are also working simultaneously and innovatively uh, to come up with some immediate solutions and long-term solutions to uh, address the challenges that many of our families and staff are, are facing. To our parents who have transported their children to and from school because of the bus driver shortage, to our parents who have rolled up their sleeves to help others uh, whose bandwidth or resources are smaller, we thank you. To our administrators and our school staff, who have spent evenings waiting on buses or have spent evenings just problem solving for their buildings uh, late into the night. Thank you. We are working and assisting our current drivers and families uh, of riders by putting the following actions in place by the end of December, through the end of December, I'm sorry. One is rotational bus services to help manage our driver shortage efficiently and to ensure that our current bus drivers can cover more routes efficiently and more equitably, DPS will move to a rotational bus service between the Thanksgiving holiday and winter break. So that will be Monday, December the 2nd through Friday, December the 20th. Now, yes, we have asked our families to do a lot. And we are asking our families to be responsible for transporting their students to and from school one day each week with bus service provided four days a week. We will and have published those schedules. Uh, those schedules are published regarding the rotational bus services. It outlines the specific day of the week during the weeks of December 2nd, December 9th, and December 16th, where families will be responsible for their child's transportation to and from school. Now, it will be the same day each week for each bus route. For a total of three days for the month of December. Again, this is three days for the month of December. Again, this is indeed a temporary measure. As I mentioned, we are actively working to resolve these transportation issues. And while we know that this will present a hardship and some challenges for some families who have had the benefit of consistent bus service five days a week, we ask. And I know our parents are frustrated with us continuing to ask for patience and, and understanding. Um, but the goal of this rotational service, is, rotational service is to provide more equitable transportation for all of our scholars. And so this will provide four days a week service for everyone, including those families who have had challenges in terms of some in inconsistent services up to this point. Now, some family members and students may be wondering about their attendance. Uh, we have some attendance guidelines that we have updated. DPS will excuse tardiness for students on late buses and absences for students who missed school due to canceled bus routes. We will continue and are currently working to retroactively excuse absences that were already on a child's record as it relates to and as a result of uh, late buses or canceled buses. We get questions around breakfast. Sometimes school buses are late and uh, some of our scholars miss breakfast. Well, all schools will serve breakfast to any student who is late to school due to a delayed or even a no-show bus. As I mentioned, we are thinking of things and putting things in place to uh, provide some immediate support and relief for families, uh, for bus drivers. We also are thinking long-term and putting some things 
in place to assist um, in this um, challenge long term. With that, we are exploring the implementation of family responsibility zones. Now, you may have known this formally as walk zones, and so this will impact up to 21 elementary schools as early as January of 2025. So a family responsibility zone does not literally require that students and families walk to school, but rather it refers to an area extending up to one mile from the school that would not be served in terms of bus transportation. Uh, families in these zones would be responsible for getting their child to and from school in a manner that they deem appropriate. Now, these measures are being implemented while our transportation team and other DPS officials continue to find solutions regarding the bus driver shortage. Uh, we will notify families before winter break of our progress toward this goal of strengthening service in January of 2025 and beyond. And I, again, want to take a moment to thank our bus drivers uh, and often say that, you know, as we're dealing with the bus driver shortage, and actively working to recruit bus drivers I often say that the new recruitment, I'm sorry, is that retention is the new recruitment. And so ensuring that we are uh, doing all we can to honor, value, and retain our current bus drivers. And let me be clear, it, extremely, it is extremely important for me as the superintendent of Durham Public Schools and to our bus drivers and many of the folks that work behind the scenes uh, scheduling routes and, and problem solving. It's, it's important to us that we deliver on a promise to provide safe and timely, dependable transportation. And what we know is that we will get through this. Uh, and I will tell you, uh, as superintendent, um, it keeps me up at night because our mission is to ensure that we are educating our, st our students and igniting their limitless potential. I will say it's difficult to do that when we can't get them to school. And so as superintendent, we are keenly aware of that and actively working. I will also say as a father, uh, I am impacted, my family is impacted by transportation as well. I have, many of you know I have two children in this district. And so we will learn, our, or we will learn of our um, days that we will be responsible for getting our students to school as well. And I'll end with this. We are committed to our students, to our families, and to our staff. Um, that rely on transportation, our staff that rely on transportation to educate our scholars, our families that rely on transportation uh, to get their children to school. And we understand the importance of uh, the teaching and learning process, but most importantly of getting our students to school each and every day um, and on time. And I will also say this, we have some amazing bus drivers. And I, at last night's board meeting, I um, urged the community to celebrate our bus drivers so that we can retain our bus drivers. And I hear countless of stories of bus drivers who are uh, providing meals, providing coats and shoes to students to ensure that um, they are arriving to school and not being bullied. And so we respect and honor and appreciate uh, all of our current bus drivers.